Good morning friends, myself Dr. Shomitra Shankar Dash. Today I am taking classes for Department of Home Science. Course name is Human Nutrition and Dietetics. Uh, today's topic is Regression. So first of all, what is Regression? See, in previous chapter we had discussed about the correlation. Correlation actually what? This measure the linear association shape of for any given any two variables. So once after found a good amount of association between this between the two variable, our next objective is to find the actual relationship among this variable. So regression analysis is the uh, tools by which we can study the actual relationship among the correlated variables. Sir Francis Galton coined the term of regression. So regression analysis actually what? Regression analysis is the study of dependence of one variable on one or more independent variable. So in regression analysis, ultimately objective is to predict or estimate the average values of the dependent variable for given the values of independent variables. So that means I can say in regression analysis, dependent variable is the function of one or more independent variable and it can be represented as y is equal to fxi. Point to be noted that here in correlation analysis we did not mention about the dependence or independence of the variable but in regression we have mentioned two types of variable. One is dependent variable that is y and another is an independent variable. Variation in crop yield can very well be explained the factors like temperature, input, fertilizer, uh, requirement of water, pest disease incidence etc. But certainly will not be an agronomist to predict exact yield from these factors because all these variable have certain probability distribution that means they are stochastic in nature as a result errors will be there there from measuring this variable no matter how many predicted variable we have included in the model or not some intrinsic or random variability always be there in the dependent variable even if we even if we even if we accurately measure the relationship so in statistical so that means this phenomenon is I can say are statistical in nature that means in uh, statistical regression analysis the dependent variable is the function of independent variable and the error term that means I can say y i y is equal to f x i mu y now we have to discuss about the cause and effect relationship as such statistical regression does not imply the cause and effect relationship the idea of the actually causation is uh, comes from the outside the area of the statistics <coughs> that means mm, in statistical regression actually what there is no now we have to discuss about the cause and effect relationship <coughs> the idea of the causation actually the idea of the causation never comes from the theory of the statistics it comes from the outside the area of the statistics actually what see there is no assumption that the now we have to discuss about the cause and effect now we have to discuss now we have to discuss about the cause and effect relationship so actually as such statistical regression does not imply the cause and effect relationship the idea of the causation never comes from the theory of the statistics it comes from outside the area of statistics there is no statistical reason to assume that rainfall does not depend on yield for a particular crop but our common senses that means outside the area of statistics our common senses say that yield can be varied with different amount of rainfall 
So these are nothing but the cause and effect relationship. For more information, one may go through the Granger test of causality. Next, we next we have to discuss. Next, we have to discuss about the types of regression. So there are two types of regression. One is a linear, and another is a non-linear. Again, these two types of regression are further categorized into two types. One is a simple, and another is a multiple regression based on the number of variable present in the regression equation. So simple regression equation when when in a regression equation there are only two variable is known as a simple regression equation. Suppose y is equal to a plus b x. In that case only two variable is there y and x. Here x is known as the independent variable and it is known as dependent variable. So whenever in a regression equation only two types of variable is present, in that cases it will be called as a simple one, simple regression. But in a regression equation, if more than two numbers of variable are present, it will be called as a multiple regression. Suppose y is equal to a plus bx1 plus cx2 like that. See here, more than this is also independent variable, this is also independent variable, this is dependent variable. So that means variable more than two numbers of variable, it will be called as a multiple regression. So understood what is simple and what is a multiple regression. Now the question is what is linear? Achha. Linear linear may be parameter in linear and may be variable in linear. Suppose Linear may be parameter in linear and uh, also may be linear in variable also. So what is parameter in linear? See in this, uh, suppose this is a regression equation. In this cases, this alpha, beta 1, beta 2, they are known as parameter. And this variable, this is known as variable, independent variable x2 and this is dependent variable. So here one is parameter and another one is variable. These are variable. Similarly here also. The so first one is a linearity in parameter. A regression equation will be called as a linearity in parameter when in a regression equation all the parameters have power None of, sorry, none of the parameters have power other than unity. And now we have to discuss about the linear. What is linear? Linear may be linearity in parameter and linearity in variable. So first of all, what is linearity in parameter? A regression equation will be called as a linearity in parameter. Whenever, whenever none of the parameter in the regression equation have power other than unity. And Linearity in variable means a regression equation will be called as a linearity in variable whenever all the variable have the power or, or otherwise none of the variable have power other than unity will be called as a linearity in variable. Now see in this regression equation these are the variable all have power 1 unity so that means it will be called as a linearity in variable but see about the parameter this parameter have power other than unity so that means it is a non-linear in parameter so this is linear in variable but non-linear in parameter but if we see this one, say this variable have power other than unity. So that means it will be called as a non-linear in variable. But see parameter alpha, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 all have the power same that is unity. So it will be called as a linearity in variable. Sorry, linearity in parameter. But non-linear in 
variable because x to have power other than unity. So this is about the concept of the linear and non-linear. Suppose y is equal to a plus bx with the regression equation of y on x. Now and also a and b are the parameter of the regression. Now we have to find this parameter or constant from the regression equation in such a way that the error will be minimized. Error that means deviation between the observed and the predicted value. So by using least square method we can find the values of a and b through normal equation then the values of a will be y bar minus bx bar and b will be covariance of xy by variance of x. So covariance of xy can be written as sigma xy and variance of x is nothing but the sigma square x or after simplification I can say r sigma y sigma x because covariance of xy is nothing but the r sigma y sigma x so after simplification of this I can say b is equal to r sigma y by sigma x and in that cases the line of regression of y on x will be y minus y bar is equal to r sigma y by sigma x into x minus x bar. Now suppose we want to predict x value for given values of the y. In that cases the equation will be x is equal to say a1 plus b1 y. So by using least square method and through normal equation if we calculate the constant their value will be a1 is equal to x bar minus b y bar b1 is equal to covariance of x y by variance of y after simplification this will leads this will give you r sigma x by sigma y so in that cases whenever we want to predict x or given values of y in that cases the line of the regression equation of x on y will be x minus x bar is equal to r sigma x sigma y to y minus y bar. Now we have to discuss about the some properties of the regression coefficient. So see first property is I can say correlation coefficient is the geometric mean between two regression coefficient of the of y on x and x on y. Suppose b and b1 are two regression coefficient one is regression coefficient of y on x and another is a x on y so b is equal to what r sigma y sigma x because b is the regression coefficient of y on x and say b1 is the regression coefficient of x on y so then b1 is nothing but the r sigma x by sigma y. Now if we multiply b and b1 then I can write r sigma y by sigma x into r sigma x by sigma y that is r square or r is equal to square root of b and b1. So see, correlation coefficient is nothing but the geometric mean between two regression coefficient. Now see, we know that R is equal to what? Covariance of xy by R is equal to covariance of xy by square root of variance of x into variance of y b y for x is nothing but the covariance of x y by variance of x and b x for y covariance of x y by variance of y this is the regression coefficient of y on x and this is regression coefficient of x on y so see all this all this that means r b y on x and b x on y all are depends on the sign of the 
covariances. All. Because covariance, this is also have covariance, this also have covariance, this also have covariances. So that means the sign of R will be the sign of the two regression coefficient. If R is positive, then two regression coefficient is will also have positive. If R is negative, then both the regression coefficient have negative sign. Now see, from the first property we have seen that R is equal to square root of B, B and B1. That means R square is equal to B and B1 and this R square will less than or equal to 1. This is the square of the correlation coefficient and correlation coefficient value lies between minus 1 to plus 1 but the R square value will be less than or equal to 1. From, the, from this case yes, I can write B is equal to B, o, B and B1 less than or equal to 1. That means B less than or equal to 1 by B1 or B1 less than or equal to 1 by B. This means if one of the regression coefficient is greater than unity, other one would be less than unity. Similarly, this one also. If it is greater than unity, then B would be less than unity. So that means if one of the regression coefficient is greater than unity, other will be less than unity. Provided that correlation coefficient is positive. Number three properties. Suppose B and B1 are two regression coefficient. B and B1 are two regression coefficient. So we know that arithmetic mean is greater than or equals to geometric mean. This is this we have proved in the beginning chapter arithmetic mean is greater than geometric mean. We know that this relation. So see what will be the arithmetic mean between two regression coefficient is nothing but the b plus b1 by 2 greater than geometric mean between these two regression coefficient square root of b and b1. So this is nothing but the this is nothing but r Ge geometric mean between two regression coefficient is nothing but the correlation coefficient. So I can write b plus b1 by 2 greater than or equal to r. That means the arithmetic mean of the two regression coefficient never less than the correlation coefficient. This is the third property provided that the correlation coefficient is positive. Okay, this is third property. Fourth number property is correlation coefficient. Sorry, regression coefficient. Regression coefficients are independent of origin, but depend on scale. This property you have to remember. We can prove this one also, but no need. Uh, you have to remember that uh, regression uh, correlation coefficients are independent of origin, but depend on scale. Now we have to find the angle between the two regression coefficient. Suppose theta is the angle between the two regression coefficient b and say b1. Then we have, we can prove if theta is the angle between the two regression coefficient, in that case we can prove tan theta is equal to 1 minus r square by r to sigma x sigma y by sigma square x plus sigma square y. So that means if theta is the angle between the two regression line then we can prove tan theta is equal to 1 minus r square by r sigma x sigma y by sigma square x plus sigma square y. Now suppose if r is equal to plus minus 1 suppose if r is equal to plus minus 1 in that case is tan theta will be 0 or 
zero. That means ten zero zero. Ten theta will be zero. That means ten zero zero. That means theta is equal to zero. Theta is the angle between the two regression lines. That means theta will be zero. See, if theta is the angle between two regression lines, in that case, yes, we can prove ten theta is equal to one minus r square by r. Sigma x, sigma y by sigma square x plus sigma square y. Now the condition: if r is equal to plus minus one, in that case, yes, see, if it is a plus minus one, then ten theta will be zero. Zero. So zero is nothing but the ten zero zero. So from this line, I can write theta is equal to zero degree. That means what? When there is a, if r is equal to plus or minus one, that means perfect positive or maybe perfect negative. when there is a perfect correlation between this two variable in that case the angle between the two regression line is zero that means they are coincide to each other that means they are coincide to each other one will be overlap another whenever r is equal to plus minus one second condition if r is equal to zero if r is equal to zero In that case, yes, tan theta will be. If r is equal to zero, in that case, yes, tan theta will be infinity. That means tan ninety. That means theta is equal to ninety degree. Second condition: if r is equal to zero, in that case, yes. Tan theta will be infinity. That means infinity. That means tan 90. So ultimately theta is equal to 90 degree. This means what actually? When there is no correlation, r zero. That means no correlation between these two variable. Then two regression line will be perpendicular to each other because angle is 90 degree. When there is a no correlation between these two variable, in that case as They are perpendicular to each other. So these are nothing but the angle between the two regression coefficient. One property is also there. You have to remember that. Mm. One property is also there. You have to remember that the values of the correlation coefficient will be lies from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, see, uh, we have to identify the two regression equation of y on x. Which one is y on x and which one is x on Y. That means identify the regression equation. Suppose two equation is there. One is 12x plus 5.6y is equal to 25. Another one is 5x plus 0.8y is equal to 10. Question is identify the regression equation on, on y on x and x on y. Also find x bar, y bar, and r correlation correlation coefficient. We know that actually. Regression equation will passes through x bar and y bar point. Two regression equation will regression equations are passes through the point of x bar and y bar. So for getting x bar and y bar, we can solve this two equation. So see if we solve this two equation, first equation we have to multiply. By five and second second equation we have to multiply by twelve. If we multiply them, we will get this equation: sixty x plus nine point six y is equal to one two zero one, and another one is sixty x plus twenty eight y is equal to one twenty five. Suppose this is equation one and this is equation two. Now. 1 minus 2. If we do 1 minus 2, then we will get 18.4 y is equal to 5 because 60 60 will be cancelled. Then y is equal to 0.27 17. Now if we put the values of y in any of the equation, we will get the x value and it is 1.9565. So these values are nothing but the x bar value and This is the value of y bar, and this is the value of the x bar because we know that regression equation passes through the point x bar and y bar. Now we have to identify. We got the values of x bar and y bar. 
Now we have to identify the regression equation of x on y and y on x. So suppose this is our original equation 12x plus 5.6y is equal to 25. Suppose let this is the regression equation of y on x. To see we can write this equation y is equal to minus 12 by 5.6 plus 25 by 5.6 and let this is the regression equation of x on y. So in this from this equation I can write x is equal to 10 by 5 minus 0.8 by 5 y. That means we let this is the regression equation of y on x and this is regression equation of x on y. To, to suppose uh, that means we can write y is equal to this and x is equal to this. So this is nothing but the regression coefficient of y on x and this is sorry this is the regression coefficient of x on y. Now see one regression coefficient b y on x is nothing but the minus 12 by 5.6 that is this another regression coefficient b x on y is equal to minus 0 0.8 by 5 that means this is the regression coefficient of x on y. So if we multiply this two we that is nothing but the r square because from the properties we know that b y b y on x and v x on y is nothing but the r square so that means their product value is r square value is 0 0.3429 if we multiply this two values now see this value is less than 1 and we also know that the values of r square is less than 1 so that means our assumption that we let one regression equation y on x and another is x on y that is correct. That means first equation is the regression equation of y on x and second one will be the regression equation of x on y. Point to be noted that if this value exceed 1 in that cases we have to reverse our assumption. That means we have to let first one will be the x on y and second one will be the y on x and similar process we have to calculate this their product value and check whether it is less than 1 or greater than 1.